In our last video, we discovered Discourse, a great platform to build community. But at Elastio, we also like to highlight less famous yet very promising open source software. Hi, let's explore Flarem, a free and open source platform to build discussion forums. It has three main benefits. It's lightweight, very extensible, and the last but not least, simple to use. The best place to discover what to expect from it is directly Flarem community. Let's start by installing it. To set up Flarem, you have two options. The first one is to host it yourself, so go to their GitHub, add a star for the support, and follow the installation instruction and set it up either on your device or on your own server. The second option is to use your favorite hosting provider, and together we will use LCO. So go to ls.io, hit login, then go to deploy my first service, search for Flarem and hit select. Select your cloud provider, your settings, the service plan and hit next. Then you can select different level of support. I will keep the default one and then create service. I will receive an email as soon as my instance is ready. I just received an email telling me that my instance is ready. So I go to click here to get the password. Once I arrive on the admin dashboard, I have a link to the instance, the username, which is my LSO account email and the password. I copy it and I go to my instance. So this is what it looks like when you arrive for the first time. So it's empty and we just have to feed it. Let's start by login with the account we have, and we know it's the main admin account. Hit remember me and login. Okay, so I am an administrator, but just let's start by creating content. Start a discussion. I will expand it. We have a title and some text. It's quite basic and simple, but by default, this is what we have. Welcome to LSTO. Hello. Welcome to our community. Let's talk about DevOps and open source software and post discussion. And then here I have my first conversation on this instance. If you're good with just that simple text and content, you have nothing more to do. It's out of the box ready but there are many options to customize it. So let's have a look at the admin dashboard. Settings is my personal settings and administration is only me who have access to it. So let's go to it. So the dashboard, it's telling me the version of Flarem on what it is hosted, so PHP, MySQL, and the features. We will have a look at it later, but let's configure and customize it. So basics, the name of the forum, Let's name it LSTO Community. Talk about DevOps and open source software. The welcome banner, what we saw before, we can change it. Welcome to LSTO. Uh, hop over to discuss with us. Okay, let's save the changes and let's go back to the instance. So here we have the title, we have the banner that we can close, but we can go way further. Let's jump to appearance. We can edit the colors. So I don't know the exact color, but just let's set it. Now the title is orange, the button too. We can set up dark mode. So let's have a look at what it is. If you prefer me, I'm not a big dark mode fan, but I know a lot of you are. And we can also edit the logo. So now we have the logo on the top left instead of the title. We can also edit the header and the footer with HTML so we can build our own and add custom style CSS here. Now let's have a look at the features available on the dashboard. So there is approval, emoji, so let's add some of them. Emoji for example, okay. Um, which one we will add the likes. Okay, mentions.
and the tags enable. So before seeing the other plugins in action, let's have a look at what are the tags. By default, the discussions are not categorized because here it works with tags. So by default, it's primary tag, it's general. So we can say it's general, we can edit the color. Let's say we want to make it uh, orange. Save changes, but let's add another one. Let's say it's support because this topic is about uh, requiring help. Let's select a red color. And here we can add a font awesome icon. So if you know how it works, it's easy. If not, you can go to their website and see the available icons. So FIS and let's add a range. So here you have a preview on the top. We can save. So now when we go to the main page, we have the tags on the left. So it, it looks like categories, but it's named tags. If we go to each, it's empty because we didn't set any content yet. And we also have this view of tags. It's like a category page. So to not make it empty, let's edit the tags on the first one. So we can say it's general or we can bypass tag requirements and add two of them and it will combine them nice fully. And now if we go to one, it works. We can see the general one. Okay, so we added some plugins to edit the content. So let's have a look at it. Uh, go to it, edit. Now we have mentions. We also have some emojis, but it's weird what it looks like, but okay. Maybe I, I need to go to the settings to be able to, to have more. But now to edit the content, it's not easy because if I want a title, if I want bold text, it's not set up by default. So let's go to the plugins again and let's add markdown. Now, if we go to edit it, we have all those options available. So let's say welcome. I want it to be a header. So you see the preview here, it's better. Let's say I want to add an image. It's not an uploader, but you can use services to add images. For example, let's use image your. Let's add this cat. So a cat and the image is in this part. Let's save. And now we have a title, an image and content available here. Now let's have a look at Flareon documentation which is very useful and it will help you if you want to go further and how to customize or add plugins. You also have some parts that encourage you to contribute to it. So either if you want to be part of an open source project or if you need to build specific features for you that can benefit the other. You also have access to a REST API. So if you need to authenticate your users uh, manually, you can use it. Or if you need to post content automatically. If you need to choose between Flareon or Discourse, it really is a matter of taste because both are really customizable and really easy to use and mature. So you can't go wrong with both solutions. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed to discover this second tool to build your online community after this course. If you want to explore how open source software can help you on your projects and businesses, please subscribe to this channel. We already covered many useful tools available on LSTO, so why not jump to the next video by clicking here.